What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a banger of a team to show off for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Life Orb Groudon team alongside with Power Herb Nihilego. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you to everybody who subscribes to the channel or just tunes in and watches them. It really does go a long way. So thank you guys so much for the support. But yeah, Series 10 has been a blast so far. There's no Dynamax, but I've been having so much fun trying out some new legendaries that we haven't used in a long time. And Groudon is here with us today. So this one's going to be fun. Hopefully we can catch ourselves some wins with this team right here. But starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Regilek. He's been using him so often. He's just been so good in this format. Like, you can't Dynamax and he can just control so much with the E-Web for speed control. He has Thunderbolt for stab, Bolt switch to pivot out, and protect. This is a normal moveset, but it's just so well and works in many instances. Right next to him is going to be Drifblim. I love this Pokemon all around. It is just great, and I feel like it is very underrated as well. It has Unburdened Ability and Grassy Seeds as its item. So once we get this Rillaboom paired up with it, we can get this Grassy Seeds rolling, get that stat boost, and then have Unburdened Ability trigger, giving it a speed boost as well. We have Shadow Ball, Tailwind, Will-O-Wisp, and Hypnosis as his moveset. Bottom left corner, actually not left corner, middle left, we have got Nihilego over here as our Ultra Beast. We have Beast Boost ability, Power Herb as an item, so we can use Meteor Beam in one turn, which is Stab, it's usually big damage, and we can usually take out Pokemon in one shot with that move. We have Power Gem also for Stab, Sludge Bomb Stab once again, and Protect as our final move. Real Boom right next to him, like I said, gonna pair really well with the Drift Boom and just be fine all on its own because it is just a great Pokemon all around. Grassy Surge is his ability. Assault Vest so we can soak up some shots. We got Grassy God, Fake Out, Wood Hammer, and U Turn. The best moveset for a Roller Boom, in my opinion. Bottom left corner, can't have a great Series 10 team without Incineroar. This Pokemon's a beast, always has been, always will be in my opinion. Intimidate as its ability, Safety Goggles as its item. We got Flare Blitz, Fake Out for Flinch, Pardon Shot for Stat Drop and uh, Pivot, and Snarl for Special Attack Drop. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be the Heart and Soul. We have the one and only Groudon. This Pokemon was so strong in Series 8. I believe that was the series where Legendaries were back. I believe it was, but he was so strong in that series, and he is back, and I think he's going to be even stronger in this series, considering there's no Dynamax, and it's going to be harder to change the weather. We have Drought as his ability, Life Orb as his item, so we do more damage, Crystal Pice Blades, Heat Crash, Substitute, and Protect as his moveset. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with the Series 10 Groudon team. First battle coming at you guys, and who would have guessed it? A Zacian team. Going up against a Zacian team, along with our Urshifu, Galarian Zapdos, Whimsicott for Tailwind, Real Boom, and Regilecki. I feel like this season we're going to be seeing a lot of the same Pokemon, so guys, be prepared to see a lot of the same teams. Um, how do I want to go into this one? I could lead the one and only Groudon, but I think he's a back-end Pokemon on this team, so I kind of want to lead the Drift Blim and the Real Boom, considering I can pop Unburden and say he leads that Zacian, I can throw a burn on it right away. And he has a lot of physical attackers that I can just burn up and get after in turn one. So I'm really liking that lead. I think we should go into that. Definitely bring Groudon in that back end. And then Incineroar as our final Pokemon could be really good. Could be really good. Hmm. Going to be, mm, I don't know. All three of these Pokemon are really good here. I'm trying to think. The Nihil Lego could do work. Could do work late game. Let's have the Sludge Bomb. He's rock typing, which is nice. Uh, Reg like he's always good all around. So I could go him. But then the Intimidate is just so big. Intimidate with the Fake Out, but I, I feel like we're going to need another heavy hitting attacker, so I'm thinking of going to Lego here. Yeah, let's rock it. Hmm, do I want him? Do I want him, though? I don't know. Yeah, we're going to take him. He is pretty fast as well, so we're going to take him up here and have him in as our fourth and final Pokemon and look for our first win in our first battle for today's video. But yeah, this team right here, usually you're used to seeing Groudon teams with like Charizards or like Venusaur, somebody who can use the uh, drop to his advantage, but since it's a new series, I feel like it's just there as like a back end Pokemon. He can come in and hit really, really hard in that drought. So he's less of a threat on this team, but you can make him so strong. You can make him so strong. But he's going to end up going Urshifu and Wimscott, which I think I'm just going to fake out the Wimscott and maybe just get after him. Let's see how this one plays out. Their Surge is boosted. I could Will O Wisp. I could fake out and go for a Will O Wisp. That could be our shine. Or I could fake out and go for a Hypnosis. He just could do that. I mean, he could protect as well. Protect is definitely a thing. Actually, I don't mind if he goes into that. So I'm just going to Willow us over onto you and just fake out onto you. I think that's a good turn one. 
We might actually protect that Urshifu, considering he is a water typing. And he's gonna withdraw. Hopefully he goes into like Zastian or something, physical attacker. He's gonna go in the Roll Boom, which yo, I'm totally cool with. I'm totally cool with the Roll Boom coming out there. I'm fine with that turn. I can get a will o -Wisp on that thing and decrease his physical attack. So that's a big turn all around for me, boy. I'm not getting a lot. Will o -Wisp pops through and it connects. Thank the Lord. Nothing's worse than when you when you have a decent play set up and your Will o -Wisp miss. It is the worst thing in on Earth. It's just hard. But there's that. We get off a solid turn. Nice burn on a building. So we, we know he has Earth Shrew, so I might want to U-turn out and pivot with my uh with my what's it called? Might want to pivot with my my roll boom here, and then tailwind next turn. Might be our player. Let's see what he does here. He's gonna end up taunting me. So okay, that's fine. He, he ends up taunting me, so I cannot go for tailwind. I'm gonna end up pivoting here with a U-turn, and I'm gonna get out my uh I'm gonna get out my boy. I'm gonna get out my boy uh route on here. I just think we need to save that roll boom for back end. I just think it's a must. He has come into that back end. Our robe him for that Urshifu later in the game. So we're going to be able to bring out him. We're going to be able to set out the drought too. And we have Heat Crash ready to rock. Nice little pivot. I'm surprised he taunted me. Kind of upset on that one. And he's going to knock off my life orb. God dang it. Takes off my life orb. So smart little play there. Um, who should I go after? I think I have to go after that Wimscott, right? He's probably going to set up a Tailwind and drop out. Which is totally fine. I'm not too worried about the Rollaboom. I'm just going to sit here and do literally no damage. So I'm just going to Shadow Ball eye on him and just drop a nice little Heat Crash over onto the, what's it called? Over onto the Wimscott, because that should take it out. Even though it's not Stab for some reason. Like, how isn't this Pokemon have Fire typing yet? He's just Ground. He should be Ground and Fire. Ridiculous. Just for Glider. Should be easy eats for the boys. Yep. Burn is doing him dirty. Burn is doing work. Shadow Ball's going to be able to fly through here. And... Take a little bit of damage off on him. Beautiful heat crash flies through. And I think heat crash should be able to pick up the KO, no problem. Yep, get the wind sky out my face. He does have tailwind set up, which is a little scary. And I would love to get off burns, but I just can't right now. I just cannot get off any type of burn. I am taunted. Because I think he's gonna throw out Zassian. He has to have Zassian as his final Pokemon, right? Gotta be Real Boom, Urshfu, and Zassian. So if I can just like waste a turn and maybe get off a, a uh, will o -Wisp next turn. That could be huge for us. It really could be. But he's going to end up sending out Urshfu. Which I'm cool with. I'm totally cool with. I think we are... Oh, he can't hit through protects. That's so tough. Looks like we got to go for a Shadow Ball here. I'm going to Shadow Ball you. And... Do I sub suit? No, he outspeeds me. Go for Blades. Blades is going to be the play. Actually, we're just going to Shadow Ball over onto... I'm going to Shadow Ball over onto Urshfu. Just go for blades on both of them. Zarshfu could be Sash. Let's just see how this one plays out here. He's probably just gonna glide again and then maybe double up into my uh my Groudon. That wants to protect so bad, but I couldn't because Zarshfu just hits right through it. Right? He's gonna go for certain strikes and that's gonna end up taking me out. But wait a minute, we're in drought. So maybe you go after Driftwind, but I can see going after Groudon, right? Yep. Goes after Groudon. Still gonna be able to take out, that's all good. Okay, I'm cool with that, because now I can bring out my roll and just glide into that. See how this one plays out. My taunt should be over here, which could be big for us. The Shadow Ball comes through here. Built, doing some lovely little amount of damage. Lovely amount of damage. Okay. So, how many turns have we had a Roll Boom in here? I think we only need like one for that Grassy Glide, right? The Tailwind is almost over for them as well. If I have this, it should work out really, really well. I can drop a Fake Out and Tailwind on my own and take speed from him. Might be my play. What would I rather fake out? Probably the, uh... I would rather fake out the Urshifu. Not dealing with him. He gets a lot harder. Real Boom's burn. Let's fake out, set up our Tailwind, and be able to rock out from there. Even though I think Grass Glide gets out next turn, we should be able to get speed after this, because then his Tailwind should be over, and we should have Tailwind up and ready to go. So he's going to end up withdrawing and showing his final Pokemon, which should be Zacian, right? Yep, it's going to be Zacian. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with it all day. He's going to get that attack boost, and I'm going to throw a burn on it next turn. And I'm going to chuck a burn on it next turn. There's a nice, lovely little fake out. And Grass Guy's going to fly through here. And Drift One, that's a tasty snack. That's your tastiest snack you've ever had. That one's popping. We have a speed. We're ready to rock out. I'm going to throw a burn on him, and I think I'm just going to get after that, uh, that, what's it called? 
I'm gonna I'm gonna U-turn into that Roboom, take him out, so I can have a Grassy Surge come out next turn. Yeah, I'm with that. Or next time he comes into battle, so we won't have to worry about that Urshifu at all. Let's throw a burn, and we gotta hope all this stuff actually hits. <laughs> we gotta hope everything connects. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's get it. Drifloom should be fastest, cause considering we're unburdened. Will this comes through? Does connect? It does indeed. It does indeed. That's a huge burn for for us. This is exactly why I wanted uh, Drifloom up in here, because they're huge on physical attack board. We can just rock out with them. He's gonna go for the Behemoth Blade. Um, my Pokemon should be able to eat up, right? You got this, right? Really? Yeah. Yo, burn coming up big. Burn coming up big. He turns coming in here, takes out the little boom, right? Get him out of here, and now we bring in the Hit Lego. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Pretty much wrapping up this battle. We have speed. We have our roll boom to counter out, act onto the uh, the Urshfu if we need it. And we also have Zacian Burn, which is probably the biggest thing we brought in here. Drift Flames MVP right here. Our Groudon did come in there for a little bit, posed a huge threat, took out the Whimscot, and made him target it down. And while they were targeting him down, we set up for victory. Yes, sir. Yo, your boy's buzzing. Your boy's getting off their strong start. Their Tailwind's gone. Now we for sure has speed. And we have Meteor Beam ready to rock. We have Meteor Beam ready to go. Do we have a burn on this thing? We do not. But I'm going to Meteor Beam over onto him. Right, that just might be your play. Let's just go Shadow Ball there. Could just Meteor Beam. Oh, it's both not very effective. So it looks like we got to go for a Sludge Bomb. Let's go. Let's go for a Sludge Bomb onto it. Shadow Ball getting after it. Bink doing a little bit of damage to see how much we can get onto him. There's that, but the burn's gonna chip it away even more. And Sludge Bomb's gonna come through here, pick up the easy KO, and we get a beast boost from there. I can definitely see him canceling out this battle right after this. But yo, Series 10, your boy's been buzzing without Dynamax. Your boy's been doing really, really well without Dynamax. He made the blade flies through. And Nihilaga should be able to eat this up. Oh, you have to trip him. That's totally fine. We're gonna be able to eat that up anyway. Dude, burn half the damage, I believe. So look how much damage he was actually going to do. He probably could have picked up maybe a double KO with that Behemoth Blade. With that one there and the one onto my roll. Dude. So we've, just been, we've just been outplaying this guy like no tomorrow. Uh, we got to go for a Meteor Beam here. Considering Sludge Bomb has no effect. But I'm totally cool with that. I think he cancels. He does not cancel. Oh, he does cancel. There we go. One and to get the battle started. And we get off strong. Second battle coming at you guys, and you guys know the deal. We're looking to go back to back here in battle number two. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team, and all teams are looking the same right now. Everyone's using Regilecki, Incineroar, and Rillaboom, all that good stuff, including myself. But we're only doing that because we're trying to showcase some Series 10 teams. You guys know once we get after showcasing, we're going to rock some off meta Series 10 teams. But how should I get after this? How should I play this one? Um, hmm. I could try to get it, go in with that same lead. That same lead works pretty well. So then we get off a nice little Tailwind. Definitely want to bring in Groudon. Uh, he's really strong. Let's go. Let's go in with the same lead. Let's go same lead. Bring in Groudon. And then our final Pokemon. I might go Nihilego again. It just works so well. It just works so well. So I'm thinking of going the same team. But I could actually go Regilecki, which I'm actually going to do. We're going to go Regilecki in that final spot. Rock out with that. We have the Focus Ash on him, which is just so good with him. Gives him another chance and another turn because he's the fastest in the game. I think he is the fastest Pokemon in the game, right? And give him a Focus Ash, that's like guaranteed two turns, unless they double down in there. So it just poses a threat on the board so much. And then with that Focus Ash, it just makes him ten times better, in my opinion. Let's see who he rocks out with. He's going to lead. It's going to be in DD and Shadow Cataracts. Nope. Going to be Incineroar and Top Blue Finning. So I'm digging this lead a lot. I am really digging this lead. Consider I can just Grass Guy to get after uh, that Top Blue Finning. But he's probably just going to fake me out. And I can start putting Pokemon to sleep if I really want to. Actually, I cannot. He has a Misty Surge going. Actually, I can because we just changed it to the Grassy Surge. Get him out of my face. Gotta love it. <laughs> so I'm digging that a lot. Um, He's probably going to fake my Robum out. So hmm. I might go for the fake out on him. I might go for fake out on fake outs. Timmy pops out here. Uh, I could set up a Tailwind. Uh, we're going to go for a fake out on him if we can do it. And then I might just put somebody to sleep. I go for a little hypnosis on you. And we're gonna go for the hypnosis onto the top of finish slot and rock out from there. Let's see the lovely little plays. Let's see the plays this guy has to do. I'm thinking going here and then into a tailwind into a wood hammer. That can be played. It really depends. Hopefully he swaps the Finny. That can be nice. Fake out comes out first. Ours does, which is awesome. We're gonna flinch onto the instant war and hypnosis is gonna pop through. And we're gonna be able to put this Pokemon to sleep. Mwah. Good night. 
Good night. <laughs> Give him a little good night kiss. Give him a little good night kiss. So solid first turn for us all day. Um, I can set up this tailwind easily now. And drop a heavy hammer. Heavy wood hammer. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go wood hammer. Even though we're minus one, I still feel like this is the play. And then I could U turn out next turn. Be awesome. Well, let's just see this dude's turn. He's probably gonna go for a flare blitz. Which is fine. I feel like Rillaboom is able to eat that up. So he's gonna end up withdrawing the top of Finny. Let's see who he goes into. He's gonna end up showing his Rollaboom. Okay, so smart little smart little play there. Tailwind's gonna be able to pop. And I can burn him next turn. I'm gonna burn his Rollaboom next turn. Just like we did in the last battle. Woodhammer's gonna fly through here, and I'm gonna pivot next turn as well. So I'm gonna go for a U-turn next turn, and I'm gonna burn up on there that Rollaboom. Hard and shot does come through here. I want the drift button. Which is totally fine. Which I'm cool with. The triple one's kind of here pestering around, so I don't, do not really need his attack. And Real Boom is rocking fake out. So I think he's just going to fake me out, and I think he's going to get back out the, uh, the top of Finny. Actually, no, he's going to show his final Pokemon, right? Let's see. Nope, he's going to throw back out the top of Finny. He's going to fake me out, and I'm going to throw a burn. I'm still going to go for the Glide. I cannot go for a Glide. I'm still going to go for maybe a Wood Hammer. Where do I pivot? I think I have to pivot here, right? Let's pivot. Let's pivot while we can. Uh, let's go will o -Wisp. So a nice lovely burn over here. I can definitely see the fake out coming right and him just trying to waste out turns. But yo, I'm loving this drift one here. Unburden is just so good. Any Pokemon with Unburden, you can make it into a beast because he outspeeds like crazy. And I think drift one is one of the best with it considering the move pool it does get from it. It's gonna, just going to end up with on the top of Finny again. It'll probably go back in, into the Cinnamor. Yeah, that's fine. We're U-turn and pivoting. I'm cool with it. He can waste all those turns. He has fake out right to rock. He's gonna fake me out. Let's see what he does. Nope, he does not fake out. Will the miss? I'll do the miss. I totally forgot about it. How did I think about it the first turn and then not this turn? Son of a biscuit. <laughs> God dang it. There's a withdrawal. Um, hmm. Is he gonna go for a knock off? I don't think he's gonna do. I think Groudon is definitely gonna play here. Go Groudon here. Get my boy out here. We do have speed chilling. We have speed all day. He can't go for glides. Let's see what he's going to go into. There's no way he's going into a move on me. Yep, there it is. There goes the knockoff. He takes off for item, which we already used, which is totally fine. And now I can drop a heat crash. But instead, I'm going to go for the blades. Let's do some more damage on you. And then probably double down onto this broken and try to get rid of it. Alright, that's got to be a play. Because he might swap out. He might swap someone. So that's why I didn't want to go for the heat crash in the robo. He might swap into the finny slot. That's my thinking on this one. There's the swap. There's the swap, baby. There's the swap. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Get back out, your slumpy little top of finny. Think guy's gonna fly through it. Oh, you buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. That ball comes through. We're at least gonna be able to do a little bit of damage on that. And rock out from there. Okay. So flinch on him. Showing the leftovers. Uh, we can still go for the blades. You can still go for the blades, which is exactly what I'm going to do. The blade up, and... How many turns left in Tailwind? I think we just have to double down on somebody. It's a long battle. We still have all four. I still have my what's called. Oh, I should have Shadow Balled into the uh, top roof slot. But I'm doubling down into this uh, Cincinnor. I do want to get off a swap. Because I do want to get off a swap and get my Red Lucky. Because Red Lucky could be very powerful. He's still asleep. He's still slumped. I think he's going for Protect. Because I was going to say, we outspeed him a lot. He's going for something crazy. A first turn priority move, which has to be a protect, right? But lovely, we get a nice little special defense drop there. Blades coming out here. And who did we just miss? Did we just miss the Incineroar, bro? Of course we missed Incineroar. We do big damage onto the Finny, but of course we missed Incineroar. That's tough news. Hard shot comes through. Dude, that would have KO'd him. That would have dumped on him so easily. Now we have an attack drop. Come on. Come on. Of course we missed our Blades. We're... we're mm. I can't do it. I can't do it. Missing attacks. That could have been so big. He's going to bring out Rillaboom. Or no. He's going to bring out Shadow Rider. Calyrex. Um, is Mr. Mist gone? I hope so. I could swap. I could hard swap and just put the Calyrex to sleep. Could be, could be Gene's play. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm gonna hard swap you. Yo, we're playing we're playing to win this one. We're gonna hard swap you and we're gonna go after his Calyrex. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Let's see his player. 
Let's see his play here. He's gonna withdraw the Finny, go back into Incineroar. Thank God Incineroar comes out here first. Go ahead, go for Intimidates. We're swapping two. We are swapping two. You can do it all day. You can do it all day. Now I'm bringing out my main man, Regit. Like, you wanna mess with us? That Intimidate drop does nothing for my Groudon. That does nothing. Oh no, I ended up bringing out Robin. I ended up bringing out Robin. Why would. Now I wish I would add Regilecki, but Robin works fine here. Robin works fine. Hypnosis comes through. Beautiful. I'm a fake out. Now I'm a fake out. <laughs> this, this battle is nuts. This battle is absurd. This battle is absurd. But I can't throw off another Tailwind if I want to. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off real quick. I think I'm just gonna start dropping some Shadow Balls. Let's do it. Let's do them dirty. Let's do them dirty. Get a shadow ball over on him. Yo, what a battle, yo. What a second battle. Swap's going crazy. Now I'm starting to like a series 10 a little bit more. <laughs> yo, look at all these swaps. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it, yo. What a battle. Fake out comes out here. Ma. Keep up on you. I can tailwind next turn, which could be lovely. Shadow ball gonna come out here. Built. Nice. And now I can U-turn pivot. I can U-turn pivot into my, uh, my, what's it called? I can Tailwind U-turn pivot into Groudon. That's the play, Jeans. That's the play all day. I think he is rocking fake out, so we gotta watch out for that. But I still want to U-turn. I do want to Tailwind. <laughs> you know, just the pivots, the swaps, everything is going crazy here. This might have been one of the craziest battles I had in a while. Considering with swaps, we're playing this one well, he's playing this one well. We, we still both have four Pokemon, which is nuts. There's that. Is he going to go for the Flare Blitz? I think Drought ended. Yeah, Drought ended, so that's big. I think we should be able to eat up a Flare Blitz if he throws it through onto us, right? He's going to just Snarl, which is totally fine. He's going to Snarl, and I'm going to U-turn Pivot here and put that Incineroar to sleep. I my play. That is going to be my play. Everybody go to sleep. Not one person is getting out of here alive. <laughs> Let's pivot. Dude, this is battle's nutty. Go for the U-turn now. Mullen, need to get off this hypnosis. Need to get off this hypnosis here. Land it. Land it. We don't want another missed attack. Zen Incineroar should be dead. He's going to withdraw Incineroar. He's going to go into it. Pokemon's already asleep, right? Let me Tapu Fini. He's already asleep. He's been asleep since turn one. Yo, how long has this battle been going on for? It's been a good bit. Surge is going to change. It's all good. We're swapping. <laughs> it's all good. We're swapping. This Pokemon's already asleep. It's all good. U-turn's going to pop through. Can we get the KO on this thing? I think we can, right? We do indeed. Beautiful. So first KO of the match. We get the swap. Um, Do I bring out Regilecki now? Because he can bring out Incineroar. And if he brings out Incineroar, then we go into Regilecki. Just protect him. Protect that fake out. So, yeah, we're going to go Regilecki here. Just in case we, we see that Incineroar. I don't really see him going into Calyrex, considering he's, he's asleep. So there's that. I can E-Web for free. Unless he goes for the fake out, which he might do. But if he's going for the fake out, then I'm going to just put him to sleep. And just protect. Let's see who he goes into. He goes into a Sinor. So good read by me there. We have two special attackers here. He's probably just going to try to Snarl. So I'm just going to go for the Hypnosis onto him. And go for the E-Web. E-Web for a slowdown. And hypnosis for sleep. Dude, I'll play this one all day. We'll do this all day. You going for a fake out? You can't fake out my ghosty balloon. Fake out comes through. Saw that coming all day. Oh, dude, why didn't I protect? I said I was going to protect. Hypnosis comes through. Oh, the miss, bro. What am I doing? What am I doing? Bro, that's second time. That is second time. That is second time. Dude, I'm playing good, but then I'm making stupid mistakes like that. Which is all good. Um, Could bolt switch. Could thunderbolt. I think I'm just going to Thunderbolt. Or, you know, I think E-Web should be able to pick up the KO. So, I think I can E-Web easily. I guess let's just throw a Shadow Ball. Our best bet. Maybe get a special defense drop on this thing. He wakes up. She's going to go for the Protect. Smart cookie play. And I'm going to be able to come in with the Shadow Ball. And then E-Web will slow it down. Yeah, this, this battle is nutty. E-Web's going to come through here. And I can just E-Web again. Put my boy Grout on but there's a slowdown for you. Slow down there, little booger. And Snarl's gonna fly through here, which I think, uh, I, I might just uh, go into a Thunderbolt now. 
into that top two slot. Yeah, I think I Thunderbolt into that slot. Make sure I can pick up that KO. Because if I can pick up the KO, we should be thriving really well here. That one does Peter out here. So let me set up one more Tailwind before we do leave this battle. Because my Driftblim is almost dead now. We haven't swapped Driftblim once. He's been in here for a solid, what has it been, like 15 minutes this battle? Nutty. Gonna end up withdrawing. Going into Calyx, which is totally fine. This is a big old Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt can still do a decent amount of damage. I love the horse sound. Just nays up in there. <laughs> Unnerve comes out. No more berries loud, but we're not rocking any berries. So Tailwind's popping. We're taking speed once again. For the rest of this battle, because I feel like this battle is going to start coming to an end here. Thunderbolt comes through. Getting some nice, lovely damage. And horse is still slump. Snarl's going to fly through here. That's going to KO onto my Drift Blim. Yep, that's fine. You can KO my Drifty Blim, and you get a crit there. But now, now I bring out my boy, and we're going to finish this one off. Now I bring out my boy Groudon in the back end. And I still have Roll Boom all the way in the back for that top of Finny, but I can just go for Blades and an E-Web, and it's going to be GG. It's going to be GG. Easy GG's, unless we miss. Which which is, is an option, because you know we miss a lot for some reason. But dude, we played this battle so good. But I'm just going to go for uh, E-Web. I'm just going to double down into my double-heading moves. And just drop the Blades. Drop the Blades. Cancel this battle, dude. You know it's over with. He's going to end up waking up and protecting. Oh, you protect. You crazy, dog. You crazy. We, still, we are still going to have speed, so we should be fine. And Incineroar should go down here. Unless we miss it again. Unless we somehow miss it again. I'll cry a little bit. I'll cry a little bit. I will cry a little bit. Yo, dude, what a battle. Somebody's Blades come out here. And we finally connect on this thing. So, yo, Incineroar, do me a favor. Finally, get out of my game. Get out of here. You played really good, though. This guy played super well. But not better than Jeans. Now, just imagine if I didn't use two uh, Hypnosis in there. Would have had a little bit of a better battle. But still, dude, I think we played phenomenal with the swaps. Playing swaps at the right time, using the right moves and all that stuff. And we had a really long battle. This is a really long battle. So we might actually keep this uh, video to two battles. Just call, let's call ourselves perfect record if we win this one. Quite possibly, because your boy's on a time crunch. Your boy has been on a time crunch. As a lot of you guys know, I'm going on vacation tomorrow by the time this recording. It's probably going to... This recording is probably going to go live while I'm on vacation. So, been on a time crunch. I will be back soon. I will have videos ready to rock for you guys while I'm on vacation. So, stay tuned for that. But let's rock this Precipice Blades here and E-Web and finish up this battle. How we finish going to end up protecting? It's totally fine. That's totally fine. Dude, Jeans has been on a tear. It's been on a tear lately, dude. This team's really good, yo. This drift one is insane. This drift one is insane. And I'm getting a speed drop, and Blaze is going to come out here. Just need to connect onto this uh, Galarex. Finish that one up. And even going to let this thing get some turns. We're not even going to let it get turned, yo. We're just thriving out here, dominating battles left and right. Get this thing out of my game. Get him out of here. Drop him dead. Drop him dead. Try to lose some of its HP. Top of Finney's going to get some left arrows, and I can just see him cancel. Let's see how we have Regilecki here. We have Groudon full health with Life Orb. We have Tailwind Advantage, and we have Roll Boom in the back. It's over with, man. It's over, man. So that Blaze rocking one last time, and I just think he's going to cancel and save the Top of Finney. He does not. He's, he's staying in here for a fighting chance. Thunderbolt flies through. Does not pick up the KO. He's probably going for that Muddy Water, right? Probably looking for a double kill, but Blades connect. Pick up the KO in that final one. And we go back to back for today's video. That last battle might have been the best battle I have ever played on the channel. It was just long and drawn out. Our opponent played amazing. We played amazing at the same time. But your boy ended up coming on top in the end. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.